arrived at Maipan entrance. We are trying to transfer our booking from Khadi Khadi to here. Everyone's being very nice about it, I must say. I thought we'd have a little bit of trouble, but so far, done. Here is our first elephant from Maipan. His name is Brutus. And Brutus is no longer extant. How do you know? You know that Brutus is not extant from the fact that when you poke him in the eye, is that his eye? Yeah. I thought his eye was There's no reaction. Oh. There's no corneal reflex, as they say. We have got some actual animals now on the entrance road to South Camp in Chai Pan, zebras and giraffe. A zebra's butt, a zebra's butt. I'm going to film a zebra's butt. find our campsite. I just need to register with the wildlife people. I don't know what I need. We just pull in here. Yeah. Is it, this is it. We stop here or go in? Go in. <laughs> Sit in the back of the car and look out. Do we want to put up the gazebo? I think so. We don't have to do it yet. Yeah, we can wait a bit. Have breakfast. Yeah. We have chosen site number two on the recommendation of Andy and Lorraine Tinkers, whose very fine tourist map book we've been using for here and Chobi and Savuti. These are a really great way to find your way around an unfamiliar country. We're very happy here. Looks out onto the plains. Zebra, wildebeest, giraffe, ostrich and elephant so far.
It is now time to do the washing up post breakfast. We will at the same time evaluate the quality of the ablutions. Now you may be wondering why there is a need for sharp spikes here. It is not because there is a great vault of gold inside, but there is something much more valuable than gold, and that of course is water. And elephants in the dry season will do anything to get at water, and this is an innovative way of keeping them out. No black mumbers, no cobras, just a moth. Very cute. Nice. You want to? Very important. I think this is done with word art. Uh, the sign, very important because this is a septic tank system in an arid environment. Please don't flush baby wipes, cleaning wipes, condoms, disposable diapers, grease, hair, medication, sanitary pads, tampons or tampons application. None of those things must be flushed. Good to know. Although in the men's loo it's difficult to see how most of those things would be flushed, nevertheless. We are on our first drive at my pan and we are going for a drive around the pan. We are told to look out for herds of zebra, wildebeest, springbok sometimes, gemsbok, the old giraffe, and the predators that might like to eat these things, including wild dogs, lions, leopards, cheetahs, and even the old bat-eared fox, which is unlikely to be on the back of a zebra, but still, I'd take a bat-eared fox on the back of a termite, for that's what they eat. Oh, thank you, Zebra, for stopping in time. And now you may leave the frame. Go. Good boy. No, left. Oh, come on. All right. No, you just want to be on screen. There we have got much ostrach. Daddy ostrach, mummy ostrach, no baby ostrach. But maybe later. The goal here is to either get an ostrach running or to get an ostrach voiding its bowels because although it's pretty disgusting, it's unbelievably impressive. like a great big fountain of white liquid and stuff. Well, I'm throwing stones. You see that? Mm -mm. Which one? That female. She 
he was tossing stones. Look. That's crazy. It's not a stone. It's a. It's like a cucumber or a melon. This is our first elephant on the actual pan. He's just come out of the woodland. He's a monstrous chap. We've seen almost exclusively bulls on this trip. One or two herds, but since we've come down to the pans, no cows, no calves. Which is interesting. I don't really understand why that should be the case. The reason that we are filming this Springbok is that we're not sure we'll see another one. And so although this one is very far away, we'll just give him a bit of time, a bit of glory on the screen, because we might not see another, given how widely dispersed everything is after some very good rains. We've seen so few people since we got to Botswana and in fact we felt in many respects like we've had the country to ourselves as tourists. So we picked randomly number two on the recommendation of the Tinkers, it wasn't that random, and uh, we went on a game drive. And when we returned, unfortunately the Germans had arrived and the Germans had booked number two, of course they had, they didn't go anywhere without booking something. And they had booked themselves exactly where we had chosen to stay. And so now we have had to move. Do you not like this one? I don't know, it just feels like we're in, we in with everyone else. We're in with everyone else. Let me just wade through the crowd here. What's number nine like? What eight? The black mamba, I'm not going any further. Snake, most likely a snake. But those are very unhappy guinea fowl. I'm not going to go blundering in there in my slops, however. Not bad. I don't mind this. You can sit in the shade here. Put our little bri here. Except the you have to cook on that. Thank you. 
forward to the phone call that we get from the British Broadcasting Corporation. Thank you.